Hi Koha users, this is Chris. Had a great question from one of our librarians asking about how to do a batch item modification. Sometimes if you have a whole cart full of books that you're going to withdraw or you know, are damaged and you want to do everything at once without having to go to each book and click on that tab, there's an easy way to do that. And you can do that from a spreadsheet. So let me show you how. If you go up here to more and tools, and you're going to look for batch item modification right here. So click on batch item modification, and it's going to give you a couple of choices. Um, if you've entered everything into an Excel spreadsheet and you have just the barcode numbers in a spreadsheet, you could do that. So I can say choose file, and this one is on my desktop, and where to go? There we go. And I'm going to open it. And so now I've picked that. And then it's going to say um, the other choice, I could scan things. And I'll show you that in a second. So you can either choose the file or you can go through and go to your, if you have a file set up and you've got all the numbers, you can just copy them in there. Or you can also just scan them. So say I had my scanner here and I was just scanning away. I just scan them in a row, and they're like that. Then we come down here and hit continue. It's going to give me a look at all the books and say, oh, are you sure you want to uh, edit these? And then these, this should look familiar for to you. This is the same kind of features. You can either mark them as withdrawn, lost, okay, um, or you can change the item type, or you, know, you can change any of these items right here. You can change the call numbers, you change the item type, you can change all of those things. So once you've looked at those and says, yep, those are right, I want to change them, you just come down here and hit save. And then that is going to mark all of those as withdrawn or whatever you've, you've taken. And it'll show right here, I didn't choose any of those. So, But one caution about this in, in the email that I got, says I wanted to delete a bunch of items and I wanted just to remind everybody that you never really want to delete an item um, out of Koha. You want to withdraw it, mark it as lost and missing or damaged because that gives you a record and it keeps the mark record in there. Once you delete something you don't have that record. Now maybe in the case of all those VHS tapes that you know you're never going to get those again, those might be a candidate for uh, deleting. Um, for sure, but usually you don't want to delete because that way if the item ever circles back and then it comes up, Koha will tell you, hey, this was lost or it was withdrawn. And then you and when you withdraw a bunch of books, you want to be able to create a report. So if I go here to reports and titles by various criteria, oops, I hit the wrong one. Titles by status. And then I can say, okay, well, which books have I withdrawn? And I can do it by item type, and I can run that report. And that's the report that I'm going to share with other librarians or give to my principal or do whatever it is that to do with those uh, books that I've withdrawn. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. And have a great day. Bye.